Hi, welcome to Wiki Tiki and Cash and Truck. This is your Venkat Shivalekya. I am going to talk about a great topic that is your No SQL. What is No SQL? No SQL is nothing but uh, like uh, the technology. Like uh, we got the data. The data is classified into two different types of data. The one is called a structured data. The other one is called an unstructured data. So we have to store the structured and unstructured data into the system. So we need an intelligent system to store such kind of unstructured data. That's why like you got the like a language that is called as no SQL. So SQL is nothing but if it is a rigid schema. I got a student database. The tables are there. Yes. Just push the data. In that case, we will be having your uh, like a normal structured data. Whereas your no SQL will have it is used to process your non like a non structured data also unstructured data. So before the like uh, my company is Kashiv Infotech. We are conducting internships and also courses. What is an internship? Internship in the sense uh, go to your company, learn the technology, do some projects for them, gain the experience via that you can go for job. So we are conducting such kind of trainings on online and offline. So if you need any guidance, you can contact me. We are available in social networks. If you want to talk to me, need some guidance, yes, contact me via my Insta account. So here is my Insta account. Click this follow button. You can contact me at any time. Here is my contact numbers and WhatsApp numbers to contact me. Let's move on. So before for further proceeding, like uh, if if this particular video is seen by any company HRs or technical people. Please, 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 you can send your job description to us. We are going to send the best students, trained students to you people. So apart from that, no to these students. So if any of the students are there and if you're looking for a job, treat me as a brother and contact me. I'm ready to help you. And apart from that, if any of my students, if my trained students are there, if you're looking for a job also, just contact me. There are a lot of opportunities and companies are looking for Kashu in for the trained students. Okay, so we got four parts of training here. So part one, live implementation, part two, the types and details, part three, and we got the part four. So we got four parts in this particular video. Here is the part one we are going to discuss. So over here, I told you the SQL databases are nothing but we got tables and it is related. That is why it is called relational database management system. And we will be using SQL to do some processing and access the data. Okay, on the other end, as I told you, like we got an unstructured data, a graphical data, yeah, like a, a hierarchical kind of data, a key value pair data or column based data, some data which is not a normal one. So we need this is called as unstructured data. We need much more intelligent system to process. That's why your no SQL comes in the picture. So no SQL one, it is used to like a process your data. Let's move on to the part one of no SQL database. It got some of the properties basically available. It appears like it is a basic property of a database. The data is available forever, a all time. That is called a basically available. And the second one is like soft state. Soft state in the sense like, sir, I'm trying to write the data. I got the confirmation written, but the data is not there. Don't worry, it will be written for sure. Okay, so it is available and the process will be done for sure. Okay, so I got the data to be replicated in other places. Yes, it will, the system will take care of replicating man. So it is the soft state. And finally, eventually consistent. As I told you, if we, even if it is not written on the disk, you are getting the success message, don't worry, it will be written. Okay, these are the three important properties your NoSQL database holds. A normal database will have the atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. Whereas, whereas your NoSQL database will be having basically available, soft state, and eventually consistent. That is the differences. Okay. So over here, like as I told you, like we are into social networks. You can contact me directly. Talk to me. Yes, here's my Insta account. You can contact me. Click this follow button. Contact me at any time. Your WhatsApp, my contact numbers, and WhatsApp numbers, and here is my Telegram group. Okay, join here, you'll be getting regular updates from us. <laughs> On the other end, so here is my Facebook account, my LinkedIn profile, and your Twitter account. You can contact me any, from any kind of social networks so that you can talk to me. I am ready to guide you. Okay, let's move on to the part two live implementation of NoSQL database. Okay, so I'm going to show my live website. I'll put this link in the description and also the first comment. Just check it out. 
Okay, so here is the link and uh, link in the description first comment. Oh, here wikidiki.com slash tutorial slash mongodb. Just go to this particular link. Okay, just go to this particular link, scroll down, scroll down. You are able to see no SQL databases are there. Just click it and you are able to see the NoSQL database. So, what kind of NoSQL databases are there? The history of technology is given, types of NoSQL databases are listed here. And over here, like uh, here is the live implementation part. The live implementation is here, and how the individual document database, key store, column database, graph database, all the details are given, and why we are preferring this no SQL, and uh, what kind of scaling options are there, the advantages and disadvantages of no SQL. The entire concepts of no SQL is given here. Just check it out and learn it. Okay, so let's move on here. Okay, let's move on here. Ah, over here, like, uh, yes. So, I wish to congrats all my placed students, Kashu in for trained placed students. So, wishes to you people. So, for getting placed via our company. Okay, there are a lot of opportunities for Kashu in for trained students. That is a superb opportunity from Bahrain for a Java resource. That's really awesome, man. Okay, so there is another resource, another requirement. For web design candidates and over here I got a lot of openings for embedded system candidates here and uh, yes uh, they are looking for 50 freshers man CSE ITEC that's really great opportunity looks good and uh, there is an opportunity in Bangalore so Bahrain Chennai Bangalore we got enormous opportunities for our students uh, like uh, yeah I got some opportunity for Android mobile application developer also Okay, so if you are looking for any opportunities, relax. I'll take care of you in getting the job for you people. Okay, just contact me. Okay, here's the part three. I'm going to talk about the types of NoSQL databases. There are four major types of uh, NoSQL databases available. So let's move on to that one. The first one is like uh, the document database. It's a previous video. Just check it out. Okay, in my channel. Key value database, white column stores, and you got a graph database. There are four different types of NoSQL databases are there. So like yeah, it's time for me to like go out with the four different data 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 like, uh, databases and I'll give all the details to you. Before that, many people used to ask me questions, sir. I want to become a software engineer, sir. What I need to do it, sir? It's very simple, people. Just go to this link and uh, start learning a lot of things. Okay, I'll give the link to you. And as I told you, go for internships or courses. So Kashin Vadi is offering such kind of courses at all. Just contact me, treat me as your brother. You can contact me, I'm ready to help you. So, if you want to build your profile, here is how you have to build it for So, you should learn evergreen technology, the latest technology, your coding technology and the database technology. So, if you learn all the three, all the four, you will be an expert. So, like you may ask me, well, sir, I can, can I learn only one technology? Yes, you can. But learning multiple technologies, the opportunity you are creating it. It's enormous. Okay. So, in evergreen, start learning web design technology. And in latest technology, start learning the big data or cloud computing. And in clouding technology, you learn .NET or Java or Python. Whereas the database technology, start learning SQL Server or Oracle. Okay. So if you start learning all these things, the opportunity is awesome, people. Okay. You'll be getting a salary of twenty thousand to one lakh fifty thousand per month, and the profile will be awesome. And any degree, any department, people can study and build your profile. Okay, if you want to know what I need to learn, sir, I'll give the guidance to you people. So just what you have to do is like just go to this link, kashuinfotech.com slash internship. Just go to this link, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to the like, end. So I'm the page, I'm designing this page. Okay, scroll down, you are able to see the lots and lots of internship details to you. So start looking into the software internship or engineering internship automatically. See, you can see yeah, enormous amount of pictures are there. Lots of, of internships. So start looking at it, click the particular thing, interested areas, and start looking into like what you are going to learn it. I'm trying to show you this link once again to you, kashivinfo.com slash internship. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. So we are going to talk about the types of NoSQL database. The first one is document database. So that is the one we are going to see now. What is a document database? The data is stored as a documents. That is called a document database. I got the database 
where we got the tables to store the data over there they called as collections and over here we got the rows and over here we got the documents so storing the data in the form of documents is called as document databases so instead of the rows and columns you'll be having document databases like this you may ask me a question what kind of documents they're going to store you sir so i got a table here this is the table you got your rows one row second row third row that's really awesome man these rows are converted into a JSON documents. JSON documents. Java, script, object, notation documents. So it is converted into a JSON documents. Okay. So every row, every row, every row will be having a unique object ID. A unique object ID. And you got the student ID here. You got the student ID. You got the student name. Student name is here age. Age is here, college, college is here. You got another record, 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 another record. This is how your JSON documents will be. Over here, like I'll try to show you the, how to create this JSON. Okay, I got the data here ID, company name, email, mobile. This particular person have done some of the programs, the internships, in plant training, and courses. You got you are able to see it here, the ID is here. The company name is here, the email is here, the mobile is here. And this guy who conducted the program and he attended these programs. Instead of creating two tables, read the table, don't make it complex, man. A simple string, a simple string that is called as a JSON, JavaScript Object Notation. Okay, over here, like I'll try it, I'll try to tell, I'll, I'll try to tell you like how this JSON works. You are able to see the row here, 1167. So you got a particular row as an individual document. The document will be having the ID, the first name, the last name and the total. And over here, you are able to see the second ad document with all the data, the third document with all the data, the fourth document with the, all the data. Okay, you are able to see it here. This is how your JSON is created. So the relational databases we converted into a document database. That's really good. Okay, so let's move on to the next kind of databases that is your key value database. So, ID value, name, what is the name, age, what is the age, a key and a value that is how your key value databases will be. So, over here, as I told you, you got the key Paul, what's the value, what's the phone number, Greg, what's the phone number, Marco, what's the phone number, the IP address, what is the, uh, like, a, what is the MAC address. IP address, what is the MAC address? IP address, what is the MAC address? A key and a value. The software example for this particular key value database is Redis and Dynamo. You may ask me a question. How about the document database are MongoDB, Couchbase and Couch Database? So these are all some of the CouchDB. So such Couchbase and CouchDB. So those softwares are related to document database. Over here, here Redis and Dynamo are key value databases. So every data is having a key. The card. What is a what is a one? And you got the value for that. You can see phone value, key value, key value, key and a value. This is how your key value databases are. I can you can see it here. This is my JSON data, and these are all called as keys, and these are all called as values. So this is how your key value databases will be. So key value database, like I, I can show you, like here is a data. And individual data, ISBN is here, ISBN is here, title is here, title is here, author is here, author is here. And you got your format, you got your format here. Okay, this is how your data, like uh, the key value path works. The data is stored in the format of key value paths. And the third database which I'm going to show you is white column stores. White column stores? Instead of storing the data in the row column, I'm trying to store the data in the column wise. You are able to see it here. A single data like this, the data is split like this. You may ask me, sir, why, why we are doing this nonsense? Well, the reason is like I got the data instead of a, a processor, a particular process fetching all the data, I'll have multi processing. This process will take the ID, this process will take the city, this process will take the country, this process will take the name. So, multi processing can be done. That's why like uh, there are this kind of options are available, column store option. The typical example of the software is Cassandra. Cassandra is a software which is using the column based data. You can see it here, ID, name, separate table, 
ID grade separate table, ID GPA separate table, a column wise segregation of your database. You are able to see that the sales table is created as separate separate tables. Okay, so we are able to do multi processing with this. That is why the people are preferring. Okay, this is one of the like a different databases available, and the final database is very very important. People, it is called a graph database. If you got a complex data, your graph database comes on the picture. Graph database is in the sense like you are able to see. So Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, these people are using this kind of graphical databases. And the typical example is Neo4j. Neo4j. So you can see Johan follows Peter. Peter follows Emil. And Emil follows Peter. And uh, this guy, she is following this guy. And this guy is following this guy. So it is somehow it is complicated. We can't store this kind of data as a normal one. In that case, we'll be using a graphical system. So here you can see this, this person is there, like lady owns a car and this guy is driving the car and these people are lovers. So obviously husband and wife and lives with. This guy lives with this girl. Okay, so obviously this kind of complex data, we can't store it in a table. In that case, we'll be having this kind of a complex system. And this is called as a Neo 4J. Neo 4J libraries. So this is how the people store it. The people use the applications and sitting in the like uh, accessing the infrastructure for a, via the process. This is how the graph database works, and this is how your Facebook and other networks are working. Other Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all social networks are working based on this graph database. And as I told you, and this this point is called as nodes, and this is called as a relations. What is the relation between these nodes are created here? So this is how your graph databases works. Okay. And it's time for me to say goodbye to you. Hope you enjoy my video and learn a lot of things today on the NoSQL databases. You can contact me for any kind of help. Our company can show for reporting online internships and courses and direct internship at my Chennai office. You can contact me at any time for any kind of help. And it's time for me to say goodbye to you. I request you people to share this particular video to your friends and everyone. Let's spread some good information to everyone and let's transform this society. It's time for me to say goodbye to you. This is Venkat signing out from Wikitiki and Kasho Info.